Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to push Office 365 apps to an endpoint managed by Intune. Also, I'm going to create a new video that shows you how to package a third party uh, software and push it as well. So stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so you can get notified. So I have this PC, which is a LT test PC, and if I'm logged into it, as you can see, this is the PC, and as you can see, I do not have any Office 365 apps installed. So the first thing is to create the push, and here's how we do it. I'm going to go to Apps and Endpoint Manager, endpoint.microsoft.com, All Apps, and I'm going to say Add. And I'm going to say Microsoft 365, Windows 10 or later. Select. You can call it whatever you want here. I'm going to call it Office 365 Apps. Now, uh, if you use the company portal, you can choose to, to whether to show it or not. I do not use it, so I'm going to say no. It doesn't really matter to me. However, for people that use it, it's a very useful feature. Say next. So you can leave this at the, at the default. I'm gonna, so you can choose what apps to push. I'm gonna lower the number of apps. I'm gonna just keep it to uh, Word, Microsoft Word. Of course, you can push whatever you want. I'm gonna keep it to Word just to make this faster. You can choose 64 or 32 bits. The default these days with Windows 10 is always 64 bit. Default format, choose the open document format and the channel. Basically, we want to get the latest one, so I'm going to go with the current channel. If you have an older version and you want to remove it, check yes, otherwise say no. Now, uh, shared computer activation, if basically multiple users uses the same PC, it's a shared PC, you can use yes. In my case, it's no. Accept the license. On behalf of the user, you of course, you want to say yes here. Otherwise, it's going to get stuck and someone has to go and accept. And just, you know, I, I don't want to go with the Microsoft search Bing thing. So if you want it, you can go with it. Say next. Now you want to assign it to a, a group. Uh, basically, you know, some people mix up the, uh, the thing here. Some people assign it to user. And what that mean if you, means if you assigned it to a user, Every time that user logs into a different machine, that software push will, will follow them. And that's not the ideal way. So the best thing here is to assign it to a device, unless that's how you want it to be every time someone logs into a new machine, it, push, it basically follows them. So I do have a group here that already have that LT pet test PC. It's called MFA. You know, that's the name of the group. It doesn't mean it uh, has to do anything with MFA. But uh, so I added the group which has the LT test PC and I say next. And I simply say create. All right, so now it's created. This is going to take time between the uh, machine to sync uh, and, and get the push. It's going to take some time. So I'm going to pause the video and come, come back when it's done. So usually we would see the device install status here. As you can see, there's no results now, but I'm going to pause and come back when it's uh, done to show you. All right, so we waited about an hour. If I go now to apps, all apps, and I check on my installed package, device install status, I can see that it says it's installed. If I go to the machine right now and search for Word, as you can see, it's the first thing here, so I just installed it. And that's how you push the Microsoft 365 apps basically through Intune. Uh, now remember, everything takes time, so you have to have some patience with this. But at the end, it's going to install successfully if there's no, nothing stopping it. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe for more content like this and give this video a thumbs up. And have a good day.